back. Um, the thing is, I call it technical difficulties, but it's really uh, on us as a unit. But go back to Genesis 1 and 27. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he him. One thing we have to create he them. One thing we got to, to understand, there this is not this is not a so-called white man Bible. We have to get that out. And a lot of people still got that that that, that garbage in their head because they're not really reading their Bibles. If you're not reading your Bibles, this truth ain't for you, man. I keep trying to tell you. If you're sitting around at home, busy, keeping up garbage, watching that stuff, dealing with the wicked outside this truth, it's not really for you, man. And I, and, I, and I try and warn you. So God created man in his own image. He didn't create no so-called white man. This is the biggest thing that is, that is not being told in them churches, because if you tell grandma that, she might get up and walk out. I'm just telling you the truth. And read on. I, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. He said, be fruitful and multiply. Two females can't be fruitful. That's right. Two males can't be fruitful. This is what Esau is orchestrating. Because just like in the day of Lot, it's the same thing that he's trying to create. A lot of y'all don't even understand this. So, be fruitful and multiply. Why do you think you got the, uh, they lit banks where you go drop your sperm off? I don't know the name of them because I don't really get into that kind of stuff. Auto and, what you call that? Auto and, yeah, auto and simulation of basically putting a, the, the, the the seed in the woman. Y'all really don't understand what the movie Frankenstein is. The movie Frankenstein is basically talking about Esau. He's a mad scientist. That's what all his science is all about. Is to, just like I was saying once before, where they took a cold fish, cold water fish, spliced his genes, and, and mixed it with a tomato seed. So the tomato would grow in the wintertime. He's mad. And, and a lot of times we're not understanding it. That's why you got two men walking around here with children. That is confusion. Two women walking around here with children. And one they call and one of dad. It's mad. That's what you call madness. And no one is uh, arresting these people because... The government fund this stuff. But read on. I, and replenish the earth and subdue it. So how can they replenish the earth? They, are, can, they cannot. But the scripture is going to tell you that this man, Esau, he's the, one of the weakest. He's, one of, he's the weakest vessel on the planet. That's why you see, and I got to go, I've been watching this stuff all week. That's why you see these, these police officers. They'll shoot you and they get hard with you, but they cowards. And I just tell the truth. They're, they're born cowards. That's why they go to be a police officer, because they can't be nothing else. So, read on. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So now the mad scientists, the sodomites, have changed this instruction. Now it's two men or two women. Or and I'm gonna tell you something. I haven't, I haven't looked into that homosexual Bible that they got, but I'm pretty sure that's what the wordings are saying. And some of y'all, I know. Got people that's in your family. I don't. I don't. I don't deal well. All right, what is going on? Give me First Corinthians seventy-two. Uh. 
I'm sorry for what's going on, but when people are not in the same tune and not really practicing what they're supposed to do, it only it throws off everything about a class. Um, but read on out. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. See, what is fornication? Who is the person is that is a fornicator in this world? Esau. These sexual sins. This is what fornication is. It's a avoid it. But see, our people have been indoctrinated into it. Read on. Let every man have his own wife. See, even in the New Testament. But you got these churches. They okay with it. But you know what? That's when your churches are ran by homosexuals. Mm-hmm. A lot of y'all not even understanding that. T.D. Jakes, homosexual. I'm just telling y'all, man. They are ran by homosexuals. That's why the band leader is a homosexual. Mm-hmm. The, the lady in the, in that does uh, the speeches in there, she's probably LGBT. So this is what the church is set up to do. But it say, let every man have his own wife. Why the churches are not standing on that principle? Because they are not 501c3. They can't. So if some if some two gays try to come in here and tell them I get married, I will escort them out the door. See, but if they go into a church house and ask for that, they can't do it. By law, they have to do it. Read on. And let every woman have her own husband. So it's saying the same thing about the man and the woman. But see, we have become okay with this. We have become okay with seeing this. I'm just everywhere I go, I'm just tired of seeing it, man. I'm tired of seeing these studs walking around here who want to be men. I'm sick. It, 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 it's sickening to me right now. It upsets my stomach. And they proud of it too. They proud to walk around here acting like they're a man. And you got the lost sisters. And, and, and you know what? It's really being practiced in them schools now. That is the only thing going on in them schools. Read on. Let the husband render unto the wife through benevolence. See, and that's kindness. Read on. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. See, it ain't no, see, because a lot of, like I said Wednesday, a lot of sisters don't know that they've been influenced by the homosexual, the transgender. Mm-hmm. A woman do not act the way that, that you see them acting on television. But see, then they take our sisters take on that spirit, and that's the way that they think they're supposed to be, hmm. popping their fingers and, and, and torquing their neck at their husband. That's just what goes on, because that sister got a homosexual spirit on her, because this place is set up by sodomites, going all the way back to George Washington. He was a homosexual. But see, when I call them out, people are mad at me, but I don't care. I'm going to tell you what the Lord's putting in my spirit to bring. Matthew 19 and 4. I just wanted to cover this. Because when you see them on the videos and they leave in comments, they ain't saying nothing about the scriptures. They telling you what their emotions want them to say. They're not going to go and, and, and dialogue about with no scriptures. And this is what this place is. It's basically taking the Bible Basically, you're at the church. Most of the people go to church, they just getting a song and a dance. Read up. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 4. So when they see this video, I want them to hear them scriptures first. Because I want them to know that this is about the truth. This ain't got nothing to do with the lies that we've been indoctrinated here. I want them to know that the Sodomites run this world. That's right. Read on. And he answered and said unto them, have you not read? See, our people don't like to read, man. All they do is want to sit back and get their television fed into their brain. A lot of them, when you talk to them, they sound just like a television show. And a lot of brothers, why do you think you got so many feminine brothers? Because that's what they see. 
even your football players. And your basketball player, what's up with a man wearing, wearing jeans so tight he can't breathe? <laughs> I'm just serious. But they pushing this on our children. But then the children, they got pride on them, man. You can't tell them nothing because they know everything. Let me ask you this. The new generation not even got their own place. They stand at home with mom. Read on. That he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. We in the New Testament is saying the same thing. Why is Pastor Porkchop not teaching this? Because he okay with it as long as he's lining his pockets up. Read on. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. One flesh. Let me tell you something. You got the most high Christ, the man, and the woman. That's one flesh. Because if the woman in there, she got the pants on, your house is out of water. Your house upside down. Right. Nobody want to hear this, but everybody want to hear what makes them feel good. Because we've been, we've been indoctrinized into emotion. Read on. Wherefore, they are no more twain. But one flesh. So, if you're not walking in the spirit of the, God, the Most High, the Son, it's still two flesh in that house. Read on. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Because let me tell you something. No one should be divorcing in the truth. You and this truth, you together forever. This ain't this ain't see this ain't Christianity. Christianity has taught Christianity is the Antichrist. That's why you, your grandmother, your granddaddy, the pastors, they all bug the hell out. Because they don't want to hear what's in the Bible, but they go to church every Sunday. You open the Bible, that's when you start having problems. But give me that first video I, the one I wanted. I want to bring this out right quick. Uh, I really don't like dealing with this type of information. Because some of it, it is uh, not really good information. That's all right. I, <laughs> you got to be moving. Give me Genesis 9 and 13. The book of Genesis. Give me time. I let them get there. Let me get there. Read the book of Genesis, chapter 9 and verse 13. I do set my bow in the cloud. This is dealing with the rainbow. Why do you think these homosexuals have gravitated to this? And how many colors do they have in their flag? Six. And I keep telling y'all stuff that when I bring y'all out by 666, the number of a man, it was really going when John was on the island of Patro when he was dealing with Nero. See, this is a nation. And they and they and they and everything is called it, man. Read on. And it shall be a it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. See, and, and they don't took it. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you something else. These sodomites, man, they use affirmative action. And let me tell you something. A lot of people hate when I tell them the truth. Barack Obama didn't pass, did nothing for the, the so-called black, the Israelites. Right. And people love this nigga, man. People love this, 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 this homosexual, man. He ain't passed now a law for his. He not all peoples anyway. He's a stinking African. And I just tell people the truth and they hate me for it, but I don't care. He ain't pay, he passed every law for these homosexuals. Right. Why do you think they can get married in every state, man? Now they taking the rainbow and basically pushing it like this is a homosexual movement. Every last one I'm gonna be squashed soon, man. That's right. Play a read on up. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. See the rainbow. Let me tell you something. 
Let me tell you something about that man. Uh, 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 what, what's, what's his name? Uh, uh, the one sing Umbrella. Uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> what do you think that video is talking about, man? A lot of those videos, I'm telling y'all, man, what the truth is. I examine everything. That is going into homosexuality. And a lot of y'all like that song, talking about your umbrella. <laughs> Read on. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. See, this was a covenant made between Yahushai and Noah. So, you have to understand that this wasn't a covenant made with the homosexuals. But they have taken everything from us. They have stolen everything from us. Even our identity. You think they're not going to continue to steal? Read on. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. So they have taken this, and they feel like the Most High is looking at them in this way. That he has made a covenant with the transgenders and the homosexuals, man. Just telling you the truth. Give me that first video. Uh. Pause it. How many colors they got in that flag? Y'all better understand who was going on. But play on. Halloween said the rainbow pride flag was created by Satan. As Brenner Rose reports, there are calls. Who is Satan? The adversary of God. And who's the adversary of God? The so-called white man. Play on. See, pause it. If you say something about these homosexuals, man, you'll lose your job. You can't be at work calling somebody twinkle toes. They'll walk you right out the building, man. But they can call you a nigga at the job, but they'll come and say, well, he, he slipped on that word, man. Let him make a pass this time. That's how they do their cover for each other. Play on. Flies both out and inside Hillhurst United. At a church. A homosexual. And to be a church that's going in the other way to say, you know what, God is about love. Pause it. Only love he gonna get is a blade to his throat. The church's affirming coordinator says, in a positive way, Christians are welcoming the Job if he's identified. 
he has gone his crazy climate of hatred and negativity and an unwelcoming, unsafe environment. This comes as a provincial review is underway of all 17 Catholic school boards' employment contracts. Have access to vulnerable children in school with that kind of uh, you heard it there, well, man. That kind of ideology is uh, reprehensible. Glenn joins us now. So, Glenn, what does the Calvary Catholic School mm -hmm. District say about all of this? Tara, we tried to get clarification as to what exactly would be interacting with the children in, but we're not able to. The Catholic you heard this, man? Referred us back to the doctor. Oh, this we sent us the link to the website for clarification. Let's see, man. The thing is, they don't want this being taught to the children, the truth. Because a lot of schools are teaching this homosexual stuff in school now. When I was in school, I learned about what a male and a, and a female was. I didn't learn what a transgender or homosexual was. It's accepted now. A lot of schools now have got transgenders as, as prom queens. I'm telling y'all, man, it's going to get worse. But we have to stand up. Let's see what this rainbow is all about. Give me Revelations 4 and 2. See, they, when you're in the kingdom of Satan, he take everything that's good and turn it into everything that's, that's negative. And this is how he brings, because the young children, they, they'll tell you, oh, I don't care about nobody. They can be what they want to be now. See, back in the day, we'd be stoned. It'd be, it'd be stones everywhere around this country. <laughs> Read out the book of Revelation, chapter 4 and verse 2. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. The most high himself. Read. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardin stone. Brown. Brown skinned it. So he was giving you an analogy of what he was seeing. Read. And there was a rainbow round about the throne. See, there was a what? Rainbow round about the throne. There wasn't no homosexuals round that throne. I can bet you that, man. It was a rainbow. Read on. In sight, like unto an emerald. A green emerald is green. So that's all we need on there. Give me Ezekiel 1 and 28. See, you have to understand your enemy, he he he's he's slick, man. He's a deceiver. I wish I had that book here with me so I'll show y'all out that book. Let me show you how he shot himself. Read this right quick. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 1 and verse 28. As the appearance of the bow. The rainbow, read. That is in the cloud in the day of rain. What you think Umbrella was all about? We Rihanna. See, they just playing games on y'all, man, and y'all just the pawns. Read. So was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. Read on. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. He heard Yahweh speak himself. He sang Yahweh in the chariot. So yeah, we, we have to take back what they have stolen from us. But they're not going to go and example no scriptures. Give me Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Read that right quick. The book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2 and verse 4. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. It ain't but one nation of peoples. And I don't understand these idiots, these idiot Israelites out here talking about the Arabs. It is not the Arabs. They've got a, a Allah for their God. This is just stupidity that's going on around here. Who opposes and exalted himself Above all that is called God. He's the devil, man. Read on. Or that is worshipped. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. Showing himself that he is God. Everything you sin. That's why I say the sodomites run this world. Everything you are seeing today. Letting you know who's in power. Give me Daniel's 11 and 36. This is the thing that, that goes on with our nation. You can't tell Granny the truth. Let me tell you something. 
a lot of these grandmas and mamas, they're going to die real soon. Let me tell you something. And a lot of them weak husbands they got, all they want to do is cut the grass and do what mama say. Because they just like a boy in the house themselves. Read up the book of Daniel, chapter 11 and verse 36. And the king shall do according to his will. They're going to do according to his will. Read. And he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god. Read on. And shall speak marvelous things against the God of God. He's going to speak unbelievable things, man. Read. And shall prosper to the indignation. He's going to prosper. He's going to succeed until his anger and displeasure. Read. Be accomplished. See, all this stuff is to take you down with him. They have no chance for repentance, people. That's why it's set up on, by sodomites. Read on. For that that is determined shall be done. Read on. Neither shall he regard the God of his father. Read. Nor the desire of women. See, he's not going to what? He, read that last part again. <laughs> Nor the desire of women. This is talking about a nation. The so-called white man. The sodomites run this world, man. Read. Nor regard any God. For he shall magnify himself above all. He's going to magnify himself above all. Give me Nahum 3 and 13. Y'all hold your precept. We're going to come right back there. I'm just showing y'all. This is what's going on. You see, you tell them. Let me tell you something. You got your comedians out here. They make a joke of everything. But they're telling you the truth. But see, people sitting in there, oh, <laughs> drinking they drink. It's a joke to them. And the people in that kitchen, they don't understand they the butt of the joke. Read up the book of Nahum, chapter 3 and verse 13. Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women. Are what? Are women. This is letting you know that they got a gay spirit, man. That's all you see. And I'm going to show you today how fast they can do these things. And they probably can do it even faster now. And now you're seeing videos on YouTube where they got little, they're showing you how to let children. But when you understand that they're raising these children up like this, I don't know when they have the sex uh, assignment or when they change that part. But look at Will, look at Will Smith children. Mm. See? Right and then and they, then they promote this stuff. That's why you see them on Yahoo. Yahoo is the transgender capital. Of the transgenders, man. Cause I know I play games with them. I'm always putting on there. This is a man. Come back. That that comment on. <laughs> See, and I'm sure MSN and the rest of them they do the same thing. This is set up by the sodomites. They run YouTube. They run Facebook. They run the whole planet. And let me tell you something. A lot of y'all go to work. And, you, and a lot of you up in age, you got a 20-year-old boss up in office. How do they look, man? How do you feel answer to somebody that don't even know what's going on other than solitary on his computer? Uh -huh. Read on, not. The gates of thy land shall be set wide open unto thine enemies. The fire shall devour thy bar. This is going to destroy this place, so, man. Because Esau... He's a fornicator. He was made that way. And a lot of our people, no, not these so. They love them some, some white people. Let me tell you something. I am an enemy to my enemy. I don't care where they come from and who they are. They are an enemy to the Israelites. Because when you understand how they are oppressing our neighborhoods and how they don't push this stuff on our nation, man. You should, you should hate that nation that hates you. Well, God say love. I can show you where he say hate too. Mm -hmm. And it's a time for everything. Back to Daniels 11 and 38. The book of Daniels, chapter 11 and verse 38. But in his estate shall he honor the God of force. See, in his countries or wherever he is. The God of forces is the so-called white man, Satan himself. He's worshiping himself. And two-thirds of our peoples are worshiping him too. 
Because they don't, I'm going to tell you something. You can be out there having, I, I remember being in my complex about, mm, about seven months ago. It was following my wife around, so I went outside to catch it. I checked him thoroughly. <laughs> so black sisters are looking at me like I'm the problem. I checked him thoroughly out there, calling him all kind of devils out there. See, it's how you operate, man. I ain't have to cuss him out. I just tell him, no, you Esau. Do you know you're going into captivity? See, they don't want to talk about this kind of things. They want to negotiate. I'm not negotiating with anybody that slaughtered my brothers, the Native Americans. Read on. And a God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. So when you go into some of these churches, man, why are they churches? They, they, it's people out here living in the cold, man. They won't even open their doors to them. If you ain't coming in there tired, they don't even want you inside. And then in the, in the, in, in the black neighborhood, you got a church on at, at every other house now. They don't do nothing for their nation, man. That's why I keep telling y'all. These churches are ran by homosexuals, man. Y'all better start waking up and understanding this. We don't know. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God. See, in the most strongholds, they in control of the world and control of this planet. You go to Brazil, there's a big Edomite statue right there. You go into any churches, any television, and be in Mexico. He over there speaking Spanish. But hold on, what's going on over there? Look. An Edomite Jesus. If you go to Africa, that's what you're going to see. Walk, 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 walk. Mm. See? Y'all even know I can speak these languages. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all. No matter where you go, you're going to see the, the same, like, you're going to see the same thing. It doesn't change. Read on. Whom he shall acknowledge. And increase with glory. He, how you thinking he's acknowledging him and increase with glory through his movies, his television, his magazines, his churches? Read on. And he shall cause them to rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. That's everything. When did Christopher Columbus came over here? He came over here with a Bible and a pen of sword. Everywhere they travel like that, they come in peace. But what if they, what's, what's going on with their heart? War. That's how they think, man. They come to you simplistic, very calm and cool. And, you know, because they got a gay mentality anyway. They, they sound soft anyway. So he'll come in, speak to y'all nice and stuff. And then come in and kill everybody on in, 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 that, in that land. Just like they did in Australia, South Africa, America, Hawaii, Canada, Mexico, South America. That's how they do, man. That's how they get down. Wisdom of Solomon, 1913. This is how they get down. A lot of people, they don't want to hear that, man. That's what I know. He's going to probably come for me personally. Yeah, nigger. Uh, yeah, we've been watching you on that nigger screen you've been on talking at and Israel like nigger stuff, you know. You know, nigger, we don't like the nigger kind around here. Uh, big bag of tin to bag, I'm gonna hit him dead in his jaw. I tell you something, I'm gonna get one off before they they, they, they lay hold. I can promise you that somebody gonna be talking with their nose crooked late on that night. That nigga got me pretty good, did he? <laughs> Read that right quick, huh? The book Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 19, verse 13. And punishment came upon the sinner. These are the Egyptians right here. Read. Not without former signs. By the force of thunders, for they suffered justly according to their own wickedness. They suffered justly, man. It was justly what we was doing to Egypt, man. What our God did there. 
and he's doing the same thing here. That's right. Read on. In so much as they use a more, more hard and hateful behavior towards strangers. So they had a hateful way towards us, man. These Africans hated us. That's why they rammed us up and sold us to the so-called white man. Read on. For the sodomites. Hold on, what was they called? For the sodomites. He called them sodomites, man. That's what's going on in Egypt, man. There was never no queen of Egypt. I don't know the name of that thing because I don't get down like that. That was a, that was a man. I'm going to show you in the video in just a second. <laughs> Did not receive those whom they knew not when they came. See, they didn't receive us, man. It was hatred for us the whole time. The only time that we had peace there, when we went there and helped build Egypt, man, we built Egypt too, man, just like we built America, Rome, Greece, and the rest of these places. Right. Even China. That's right. See, read that again. For the Sodomites did not receive those whom they knew not when they came. But these brought friends into bondage. They did what? Brought friends into bondage. We came into Egypt as friends, didn't we? Mm. And they brought us into bondage. He called them sodomites, man. And we got these guys running around here with this ark and this Egyptology stuff, man. That made nothing but some bunch of dope heads, man. <laughs> they are everybody from Kimmy. Nobody's from Uganda or somewhere down there where they drinking cow piss out of See, nobody's from the place where they got them rings in their neck and their necks at six feet tall. See, nobody's from them different places. They all from Kimmy. And they worship that, that homosexuals. That's all it is. Where do you think the makeup come from, man? That's why it is not a custom of Israel. That's why it gets on the sisters. They know I do. They see me out there teaching. You got your BB one day in the day, huh? <laughs> see, they like that. He crazy. I'm trying to flex their spirit, man, to make them think about some things. But read on. That had well deserved of them. We was rightfully, man. We had rightfully earned what we had in Israel, man. In in, in Egypt, man. But, but these sodomites, that's why you see the painting on their eyes and stuff. They don't teach us no truth, man. And we also tell our sisters about that gay pain on their face. Our sisters are naturally beautiful. Y'all don't need that stuff on y'all face. What it does in the long run, it makes you look old. And, and, and a lot of times, man, that stuff tear your face up. Mm. They be looking like granny that been smoking for, for, for seven years. <laughs> Your cigarette face. Look, that's what your mirror is for, baby. My face all sunk in. Read on, up. Uh. And not only so, but per adventure, some respect shall be had of those because they use strangers, not friends. That's how they did us when we was there, man. That's how they did us. They oppressed us, man. And we love everybody, man. Give me this next video, man. Just showing y'all the truth, man. It's in my spirit to call out everything. There is an archaeological site, 3,000 years old, kept secret from thousands of visitors nearby. It ain't kept secret, man. The earliest slanderous pornographic images in history, and it remains concealed in case. Not simply due to the nature of the image Father. itself, I'm pretty sure these Egyptologists, they don't want to hear about this part right here. Play on. Um, but because of who the image is thought to depict, that shut suit, one of ancient Egypt's few female rulers. That's a man. <laughs> See, they'll tell you, oh, it was a female ruler, y'all. Yeah, that was, she looked even a little too. So it's a male, man. But, play on. Um, it's possible that it's the oldest piece of sexual graffiti in the world. It's certainly not the oldest image of people having sex, but possibly the oldest piece of graffiti showing this kind of act. The drawing is located on the site of a temple in honor of the queen, creating such a sexual... Violet, image. I told y'all that queen just stand for queen. Play on. This image would have been dangerous for the artist. 
an image of the queen in a sexual position was a serious no-no, for sure, and would have been something that had to be hidden away, something that the person would probably get in serious trouble for if they were found out. Due to the controversial nature of this graffito, few academics have accessed the cave. For this program, we have been given permission to investigate this unique archaeological site. They block up the site to keep visitors out, and nobody gets to go in, usually. So now I'm getting to go in, and I'm very excited. So we're going to uh, take the door down, and we're going to go in. Oh, wow, this is, this is something. It is not known how cut the limestone cave, but it is thought to be one of the craftsmen from the Valley of the Kings, who may have decided that it would be a good location for his own tomb. For a number of years, Liz has wanted to access this remote site. Wow, this is fantastic. Oh, yeah. I've always seen it in books, and it's really good to see it in real life. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> you know, probably created by one of the workers around his area, so probably a tomb worker. Uh, you you think, think there's a, a female right there? The graffiti shows. You say positive. <laughs> I want them Egyptologists to see this, man. <laughs> Let them meditate on this. That's what was going on in Egypt, man. That's why they was called Sodomites in the scriptures. But that's that Egyptian uh, god with the hard penis named Men. That's one of the gods that they worship. And, and I'm going to tell you something. All the kings in uh, Egypt was homosexual, man. It ain't no different than if, if America is practicing the same customs, they fall in the same ways as what they is. Play on. Appears to be Hatshepsut being taken from behind by who they think could be Senenut, her steward and possible lover. Details of the drawing provide clues to its significance. You have the male behind a female, and it's believed that it might be Senenut and Hatshepsut because you have here you know, the headdress. He's he so he interested in that. Yeah, his headdress. See, hold up, pause it. They showing you the headdress, right? Somebody show me where the tits at. <laughs> Somebody please point out where the tits at. Somebody show me where they at. <laughs> if this is a depiction of what is going on, they should have everything in there. Play on. And since it's obviously a female figure. See how positive, man. See how Esau tell you what it is and you believe it, man. Yeah, Esau, he's telling the truth. He always tell the truth. Esau is a born liar, man. They come out the womb lying. They come out, God, God, go, go. They lying. They tell you something else you don't even understand. Play on, man. Why would someone take the enormous risk of portraying a royal figure in such explicit terms? Because they were showing you the most high left this information here for us. The fact that they did have a female king, it went against the laws of Mars, it went against everything that Egypt stood for. The graffito offers a new view of the Turin erotica virus. <coughs> there ain't no new view, man. This is what the Egyptologists, they don't want to hear about. It. <laughs> See, pause, now pause it again. I think y'all come here cheering. Now show me where the tits on that lady. Play on, man. That's all that's going on in Egypt, man. They left a description in the Bible. They were sodomites, man. Give me Isaiah 13 and 19. Yeah, the Africans, they come over here and play their game, man. But see, let me tell you something. They're not, they, wherever they're from, Ghana, Kenya, they don't even think nothing about Egypt, man. They don't come over here with no arm on their neck, man. They don't come over here with a with a with an African charm on their neck. They don't wear none of the garbage that the so-called black man here in America wear. They worship Egypt. Egypt is their God, man. Read up the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 19. 
and Babylon, the glory of kingdom. See, the glory of kingdom. This is talking about America today, read. The beauty of the Chaldee, excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Read on. It shall never be inhabited. So, is this talking about this Babylon, or is this talking about the old Babylon? Talking about this Babylon, because you got them fake Edomites over there in Egypt right now, ain't it? You got them fake uh, Elams over there in Iran right now, ain't it? Uh, Iraq. So, this is talking about America. Read on. Neither shall it be built in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tents there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Give me Revelation 17 and 1. You have to understand how the prophets was writing. They didn't have America named here. They was writing in, the, in what they had the understanding of. You have to think as they thought. Read up. The book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials. The seven plagues, man, for this place here, man. Read. And talked with me, saying unto me, come hither. I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore. What was America? What is America called? The great whore. The great whore, man. Read. That sitteth upon many waters. See, old Babylon didn't sit upon many waters, man. See, and they'll try to tell you this is wrong. Rome don't sit upon many waters. See, this is the lie that you'll get on a lot of your stuff. You'll be watching and they be having all kind of good uh, good things going on, graphics and stuff, but they don't know no truth, man. Give me that first video I want. Let me show you some of these plays that's going on. That first video, um, the thing is that what's going on here right now. Uh, yeah, play that. This government shutdown, which has taken place, many people are undermining it. But what I'm going to share with you is going to show you that millions of people are about to face a crisis and they do not know it. If you don't start growing your own crops, if you don't try and find your own land and start to do your own gardening, you're going to be in a tough situation, my friends. Listen to what President Trump has just spoken from his own lips and I'm going to also share with you what's happening right now to millions of Americans who are affected by the partial government shutdown. Observe. Have you considered using emergency powers to grant yourself authorities to build this wall without congressional approval? And second, yes, I have. Mexico, you have. Yes, I have. And I can do it if I want. Uh, you don't? So why you think he got all these people on furlough right now, man? He got the power to do what he want to do because of what George Bush set up for him. So y'all have to understand that this is a game being played. A lot of you don't understand. All of them are sodomites, what you see talking right there. Play on. We don't need congressional approval to build No, we can use them. Absolutely. We can call a national emergency because of the security of our country. Absolutely. No, we can do it. I haven't done it. I may do it. I may do it. But we can call a national emergency and build it very quickly. And uh, it's another way of doing it. But... If we can do it through a negotiated process, we're giving that a shot. So is that a, a threat hanging over the Democrats? I've never threatened anybody. <laughs> but, but I am allowed to do that. Yes. Second question, called a national emergency. The question was clearly asked. Have you considered using emergency powers? To grant yourself authorities to build this wall without congressional... His answer... Second, yes, I have. Mexico. You have. Yes, I have. And I can do it if I want. Absolutely, we can call a national emergency. But we can do it. I haven't done it. I may do it. I may do it. You heard it for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, let's ask and find out what do presidential emergency powers entail. Let's go to Google. Number one, he can assume the position of being the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. This simply translates to martial law. This state of emergency was only enabled only when the nation is at war. But thanks to Bush, a president no longer needs to wait for war in order to enact martial law. 
when national emergency is declared, the president can choose to do this. During a state of presidential emergency, the president can also sign or veto legislation. He can convene or adjourn Congress. He can grant reprieves and pardons. He can receive ambassadors. There's other things that a president can do. Father, let me tell you something. They still get in the chair. They're, they're, they got food in reserve. They're not going to worry about it, man. Who's going to suffer is our people. Mm -hmm. Because no one is, once these stores, I know a lot of y'all been going in these stores. I know I was talking to my sister, she said Everson shut down over there where she is. And she in one of the better neighborhoods. What did you say? I, Tom Thomas. Tom Thomas. Tom, so let me tell y'all something. I seen Wendy's clothes out there where I stay in North Dallas. Mac, McDonald's? Mac killer clothes? <laughs> Going there with two pennies and come out with a big bag. <laughs> and I seen a jack in the box clothes. This is why we are trying to have things. That's what we do here, man. But see, a lot of people just not in the spirit. They don't care about that. Let me tell you something. When your ass out there starving, man, don't call my phone. It probably won't be on anyway. We probably have handheld radio. We got to get into that, getting CDs and stuff. So the thing is, I'm trying to show y'all that these sodomites, they don't care about nothing. Play on. But we're not talking about these ones. Let's observe the situation as a whole and let's see exactly where the world is heading, where the United States is heading. Observe this. Headline reads, millions face delayed tax refunds, cuts to food stamps, as White House scrambles to deal with shutdown's consequences. First paragraph, food stamps for 38 million low-income Americans. Pause it. It's going to hit the Esau Edomite first because they're the number one food stamp receptors on the planet, man. See, a lot of us don't know why, well, why they not in the hood and housing where we in. They got they go to another. Let me tell y'all something, man. Y'all don't understand what's going on with, with nothing, man. I don't think y'all have taken everything face value what he says is true. Play on. Face severe reductions and more than $140 billion in tax refunds are at risk of being frozen. Uh, or y'all ain't gonna see nobody on Facebook early this year. <laughs> it will be no bowling on Facebook this year, man. Because they're gonna you ain't gonna see nobody tossing the throwing uh, what they call it, uh tossing it up. <laughs> They, they go, it, it's going to be very dry in February. <laughs> Play on up. Or delayed if the government shutdown stretches into February. Widespread disruptions that threaten to hurt the economy. I'm going to entertain you with the third paragraph. Observe, it says, thousands of federal programs are affected by the shutdown, but few intersect with the public as much as the tax system and the Department of Agriculture's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, the current version of food stamps. Ladies and gentlemen, millions of people are affected by these government programs. That's it. Man. That's what I'm trying to show you, man. See, all Esau is doing is running test programs right now. And all people are failing. You know, this is why this place is called the Great Whore. Because the man's that the, the so-called sodomites that's running, that's what they are. They don't care nothing about us, man. And I've learned a lot about this system, man. Even corporations are called citizens. You're in a capitalist place, man. This is a corporation. And the devil runs it. Back to Revelation 17, too. The book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. See, the, the who? Kings of the earth have committed fornication. So this sodomite thing is going on in North Korea. It's going on in China. It's going on in Africa. It's going on in Australia, Canada. It's going on everywhere, especially over there with them Europeans. And that's all they do. Read on. And the inhabitants of the earth 
have been made drunk with wine. The lies read of her fornication. Of her fornication. Give me that in Hebrews 12 and 16. See, a lot of people don't understand why people walk around here drunk. But they not drunk with wine. They just drunk with lies. That's what's wrong with this nation. Read that. Uh, let's, let's see who the orchestrate of it. Read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and verse 16. Lest there be any fornicators. See, this is Esau. See, he's into everything, idolatry. He's into every wicked thing that you can imagine on the planet. That's why you got things like blow up dogs now. You got guys riding around with, with fake, fake women's in their cars now. You got the fake men's now. They got everything going on right now, man. They got they they want to provide you every pleasure. And this is really for the son. They probably going, they probably got little children's fake dolls out. See, they can't advertise that. See, you don't understand how low this man go. Read. Or profane person. Profane. Wicked as hell. Read. As Esau. As the so-called white man. Read. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. He didn't care nothing about his birthright. He sold his birthright for a morsel of meat, man. Back to Revelation 17 and 3. I'm just trying to show you that the world is ran by sodomites, man. They don't, they, they in power, they've been in power since George Washington. Because when you go back to the 13 colonies, when we set up the 13 colonies, they came over here and stole that information and, and stole that from us. I, I, I'm still tying it together. How can they have a, pre, a black president in 1771 named John Henson? How? Because we was in control over here with the Native Americans. We was at peace with them. Because a lot of this was done because King James was over there catching hell from the Papsi, man, the, 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 the Roman Catholic Church. So a lot of people was coming this way. Nobody wants the truth. Read up. The book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit. So a lot of people don't understand when you're in the spirit, you're going to get this information. You're going to be able to teach your people. But you got to be in the spirit. You can't be half spirit, half nigga, and it's true. You got to be all the way 100%. Read. And to the wilderness. And I saw a woman. A who? A woman. See, it's saying the same thing. Read. Sit upon a scarlet colored beast. A red beast. It's letting you know that this man have a spirit of a woman. Read. Full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And we know what those ten horns are. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colored and decked with gold and precious stone and pearl, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Read on. And upon her forehead was the name writ, Mystery, Babylon, the Great, the Mother of Harlots, and Abominations of the Earth. Abomination of the Earth. Give me this next video, man. Let me show y'all something that a lot of people see. Y'all see that little boy? Y'all already look sweet already. <laughs> These Esau children, put it on. It's going to show you how fast they can transform. So Clyde, when I'm bringing this stuff out, people are like, is this a problem? Oh my God, this is trying to make eye contact. Esau promotes the stuff, man. And it's a low level down the river. Father. Some of you guys did on Facebook, man. You never better stop that, man. Or <laughs> <laughs> you meet about like hard. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm going to show you. Y'all see them dates on huh? less than two years, man. Positive. 
Y'all see them, them uh, what you call them things going across their shoulder blades? Calabra Cabal, collarbone, whatever you want to call them. Shoulder bone. Y'all will see most of them, them, them women that you see on television got that right there. See, y'all don't know what to look for. Play on. All they got to do is pop the pills. Some of you guys are in, in, in love. See? <laughs> This is going on major, man. Why is YouTube not pulling this garbage down, man? Because they promote it. This is why this place is all about satellites, man. I'm going to show you that they even shade down the Adam apples, man. Why I be like, why are people out at the club, man? This is what you're gonna be running into, cause I seen one and he knew I knew he was a man. <laughs> See how the mama okay with it? See, pause it. See how they shade it out of my damn man? Hey man, y'all don't understand what's going on. Y'all too busy caught up on the television. Well you know. That's why a lot of them be having that stuff. You see somebody doing that, just delete them off your page. <laughs> and it got a chest coming up. Understand what's going on, man. Y'all thinking I'm playing games. I'm telling y'all, man, that's a little boy. You see this? Pause it. Y'all heard that song? Mm. Ain't nobody like me. <laughs> see, they let y'all know in the music. But see, y'all just love the music. Ain't nobody like me. Ain't nobody like me. You don't know what you like. Are you thinking like a like a, a transformer? Exactly. Play on. Music satanic. Look at the positive. Get awards and everything else. See, this is what's going on here, and they're being pushed further and further away, where they just in total control. Play on. Let's see, let me tell you something for these young eyes out here. I don't know what to tell you. You better take hold to the truth, man. Or you be laying, that's enough for that, man. Or you be laying next to Malachi, man. <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. I'm also showing you the mail, too. Because I want people to know what I'm bringing to them is, is true. Back to Revelation 17 and 6. The book of Revelation. Chapter 17 and verse 6. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. Hold up, he saw what? The woman drunken with the blood of the saints. He's talking about Esau, man. Read. And with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh. Now you're going back all the way back to the room, man. Read on. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Why do you think he's comparing America to her? Revelation 18 and 4. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. Hold up, come where? Come out of her. Let's go back over here where we were, man. Back to Revelation 17 and 7. The book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse 7. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? Wow, man, he was seeing something that he had, he blew his mind. So he had to write this the best way that we would understand it today. Read. I will tell thee the mystery of the woman. Read on. And of the beast that carrieth her, 
which had the seven heads and ten horns. Because he's in control of the whole planet. See, that's what we don't have no understanding. Read on. The beast that thou sawest was wrong and is not. Read on. And shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. Destruction. Read on. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life. Hold up. Hold up. See, this is why I'm telling y'all their name is not written in the book of life, man. See, every last Edomite is going into the lake of fire. I can, I can, I, you can put a stop and mail it to where you want to mail it. See, that's how I understand how some some of these schools got Edomites in their school. Like they they get a break because they they accept and it's true. Nah. Read the last part again. Whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. From the beginning, man. Read. When they behold the beast that was wrong and is not read on. and yet is. Yet is right here. You're looking at the beast right here. We're living amongst the beast. The wickedest nation on the planet, man. And see, the Rothschild, the Bilderbergs, they know the truth. So all their agenda is is to deceive. They put on there the good stuff. That's why I tell y'all, have no, don't worry, man. If you're walking in the, in the light, you ain't got nothing to worry about. The most high got you. When you go into Hebrews 11, did he ever fail the prophets? Did he ever turn his back on the nation when they was keeping the commandments? See, a lot of us, we don't take heed to that. We'll get, get to thinking like our Esau. Give me 2 Peter 2 and 5. You got to come out of there, man. Like I say, a lot of this stuff, we will be covering soon, man. We will be bringing out the truth. Read that up. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 5. And spared not the old world. See, y'all don't understand. When the power get here, he's not going to play with nobody. It ain't no de negotiating. He saw what he need with his money. That's not Esau money. That belongs to us. So how you going to negotiate with stolen property? You have a, not a pot to piss in. Read on. But say no. Be a person. A preacher of righteousness. A preacher of what? Of righteousness. Read on. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. The who? Of the ungodly. The ungodly, man. Read. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah, homosexual and Gomorrah, wicked ass people, man. Read. And to ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example. Making them what? An example. See, that's why they don't teach the Bible in the churches, man. Because if they understood this, the preacher was in there warning them. That's why he said they are dumb dogs. They can't even bark, man. So, understanding. He made them an example. People been going to church for the last 150 years, man. They don't know Jack from Jack. All they believe in is John 3, 16 and God so loved the world. And that's all they need to know and they happy niggas. Read on. Unto those that after should live ungodly. See, he made a promise. Because some of them out there living ungodly right now. Some of these sodomites probably watching the video. You know, you got some of um, them that watch this class video. Let me tell you something. I see a lot of people get caught up on numbers. So let me tell you something. We out in the community, man. We not worried about numbers. We worry about we worry about souls, man. We ain't worried about the things that these Negroes that ain't got nothing else to lean on. We out here to raise our nation up. We ain't out here for vain glory. If you're in this truth, what to be seen? You're not in the truth. Read on. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation. Man, he seen the same thing here. The same homos. I'm going to tell you something. Most high has been burning us, man. But y'all don't see it. Read on. Of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them. See, we 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 going through the same thing right here. You can't go nowhere without you seeing them. They don't even hide it no more. 
You see a stud dog with, 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 with her pants sagging. With her box head cut. With her jean, with her hat flipped backwards. Then wants the child to call them daddy. That's why Babylon is called confusion. Read on. In seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul. <laughs> See, vexed his righteous soul, man. From day to day. We see this garbage day to day. And it, let me tell you something. Back in the day, now I knew I was in Jackson, Mississippi. We called it one homosexual wonder woman. I swear he was wonder woman. I <laughs> wouldn't nobody mess with him. He walked down the street looking like the Hulk. <laughs> so when nobody mess with him, but I'm going to tell you something. Growing up, if we had that in our neighborhood, they would have to move. Would nobody put up with that stuff. See, now it's okay now. Everybody's, everybody's, it's just love, love, love. <coughs> and we started getting shot down in the streets. Read on. With their unlawful deeds, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. He know how to deliver us, man. Read on. And to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. To be what? To be punished. Now they're going to go to the corner. To be punished. They're going to the lake of fire. I'm going to tell you something. That's why I always try to tell y'all, man. If y'all don't know, come ask. Because you sit back and you, you follow them. And you follow them. Some of y'all follow them. <laughs> See, sometimes y'all don't know y'all need to come and, and, and get the right information. But as you become some pride, you think it. I don't need that. I can go watch another video. It's going to edify me. Hmm. I've seen a brother sit up here at this table with that same stuff because of his wicked wife. You know, he wanted to please her spirit. When you want to please a woman's spirit, I'm going to tell you something. Most high going to get rid of your ass. Mm -hmm. Because you're not pleasing the most high spirit. That's right. Read on, I. But chiefly, them that walk after the flesh. See, because when you're not in the spirit, that's how you walk. Read. Is the lust of uncleanness. Because that lust, it, it covers a lot of things. Read on. And despise government. They do what? Des despise government. They despise government, man. They despise what the most high set up. Read. Presumptuous are they. Read. They pre very presumptuous in the mind. Read. Self will. They got the negative. It's all about themselves. Read. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignity. Those that are keeping these laws, man, they're not afraid to say something negative about you. Give me 2 Corinthians 4, 4 and 3. They're not afraid to say something negative about you. They don't know what the Most High got you doing. They don't understand because they're not in control. See, when you're not sitting behind the steering wheel, you back in the, on the passenger side, go this way, turn that way. How you going to both drive? Hmm. Read up. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. But if our gospel be here, you know why this gospel be here? Because it's here because some of y'all still believe in the Christianity lie. You haven't purified your mind yet. You have to stop believing everything. That's why I try to tell people, man. There's some brothers in this truth that ain't right. And I'm going to tell you, this, this, that's just how I am. That's why I say some of these so-called elders that's been in this world for a certain long time, they don't pick up the phone. Let me tell you something. Esau on the phone right now. Hmm. Say them niggas gonna be out on the block at such and such time, y'all. Put y'all make sure y'all got the team down there watching them. See, they know every move we make, but we not orchestrating together and one because everybody want to be the, the 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 shit in the city. As mm -hmm. I say, mm -hmm. they want to be the man in the nation and understand we should be operating as one in this truth. You know, don't put. Let me tell you something. Some of them put they they brand over the truth. Right. You can't put your school or what place you're going over the Israelites. That's crazy. Because some of them, hey, you know, they ain't with such and such. I ain't dealing with Hey, man, you're not in the truth. And, 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 and that's, read that again. But if our gospel yeah. be hid, it is here to them that are lost. Some of them walking around here in the truth lost today, man. Because they, they don't understand. That how we're supposed to be operating. We should be on the phone with each other. I talk to as many brothers as I can, and it's true. My phone is open. They can call me at any time. All they gotta do is go to Google, type in one body in your house, 
pull the building in close, they're going to see the number right out there in the building. But I'm going to change that number and give it to Kaim. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let this phone ring at nighttime. <laughs> Read on. Uh, in whom the God of this world, see the God of this world, man, Satan, the so called white man, read, had blinded the minds of them which believed not. See, he, he blinded their mind, man. He uses the churches. He's got to tell them. Let me tell you something. That's why I tell brothers when you're in the truth, you should be operating 24 7. Because he saw television never cut off now. You used to be a tiny white teeth. Okay, tiny, tiny teeth. Now he just, it just, he laying there sleeping, dreaming about whatever's on television. So you have to understand, he's got his program running 24-7, and he's revving it up, man. And the thing is, the Most High is using him like a dummy, just like he did Pharaoh. See, he's playing games with him just like he did Pharaoh. It's no different, man. Read on. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Should shine unto them, man. Understanding. Pick up the phone, call your family, man. Love one another. We hate on each other because somebody, it's just like in the world. This dope dealer over here is doing better than this dope dealer. So now this dope dealer got a banana in his mouth because somebody's saying, hey, man. Hey, man. Lil Pookie got that killer stuff. Lil Pookie, man. <laughs> they got the same spirit in the truth. Somebody's watching his video and they, hey man, yeah man, he's bringing it out. They get too busy worried about the wrong thing, man. We in captivity. Uh -huh. Give me First Corinthians ten and twenty. They worry about the wrong thing, man. Somebody hit that arrow. Just for a little bit. That ain't see. The book of First Corinthians, chapter ten and verse twenty. But I say. That the things which the Gentiles sacrifice. See, the things that they, let me tell you something, man. Christianity, the Catholic, Roman Catholic Church, Egyptology, uh, what you call it, non denominate. Uh -huh. And you got some guy out there, man, I just see him out there. He's, they call, he call himself G, man, I just say he gay, man. Because uh -huh. he act real, he feminine. That's right. Dude ain't got no no heart in it, man. He we can he we just caught it. So the thing is, when you see these people, man, and you see, I see all I see these these guys, they call vocal Malone, man, and, and if you want to talk about what goes on in the school, you're an enemy to Israel, man. If you're calling your enemy to talk to him. Jay the producer, he's got a feminine spirit too, man. And you can let them know out there that I see them on any block. <laughs> I'm alone all week long. And I tell you, that's why I keep rings on so I can scar your face up. <laughs> I'm not afraid to put, uh, put these hands up. Because I'm not going to ask questions. I'm going to be swanking. That's right. I'm just telling you the truth. So I'm just letting you know, man, stay away from these kind of wicked spirits. All they worried about is self-glorification. They're not worried about the nation. Read on. They sacrifice to devil. See, that's what they do, man. Talk to their enemy, man. Or talk to somebody not even walking in the truth. Read. And not to God. And not in God, because if you're worshiping him, you're worshiping him in the spirit, man. You understand there are some things that you just ain't understanding. And when you're not understanding, your spirit is flexed. Read. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with them. Some of our people love to be with the deceiver. And some of the two thirds are the deceivers too. Some of us love to walk with our enemy. And some of us are our own worst enemy. You think he's all going to send? He's going to come up in here and say, he's going to send another a Jacob in here. And he's going to come up in here. He's going to be cool and stuff. I'm in Oshalom, bro. But see, he don't know that at the end I'm gonna be snatching his neck out of his socket. <laughs> see, that's what he gets for being a sellout. <laughs> People hate sellouts, man. First Timothy one and five. 
and, and these are the things that goes on that how do you do these things, man? Because to do these things, you have to be a sodomite. Read up the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 5. Now the end of the commandment is charity. Charity, love, man. Love for your nation. Read. Out of a pure heart. Out of a clean mind. See, when you got a clean mind, you're not, you're not somebody come to you, put the brakes on. You know, you got to do that woman stuff like Mark because he, he's a sodomite. See, you got to tell him, say, man, we're trying to do what's best for our nation in the realm that we operate in. Because you're not understanding what's going on. Don't come speaking bad about my brother, man. Because I love my brother. Right. And I die for my brother. But see, some people are like, oh, where's my brother going? They, they love that garbage. You're not in the spirit when that happens. Read on. And of a good conscience. Of a good conscience, man. Read. And of faith unfeigned. Unfeigned truth. Read. From which some having swerved and turned aside unto vain jangling. They love that gossip, man. It's like I, you know, let Tweety Bird all day long, man. Put a bullet in that Tweety Bird and move on, man. Because let me tell you something. That Tweety Bird can keep you out of the kingdom. Move on away from them. Read. Desiring to be teachers of the law. We got a lot of them, man. Read on. Understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. What they proclaim, they swear. They don't understand that they've been everything has been everything has been written down. But we know that the law is good. We know that the law is good. Read. If a man use it lawfully. Let me tell you some our enemies do not use nothing lawfully. Read. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. See, when you go into Deuteronomy, we ain't even got to go there. When you go into Deuteronomy 6 and 25, a righteous man keep the commandments. He do thus says the Lord. He's not deviating here and there. He's walking in the spirit. Once you come in this troop, you should try to walk in the spirit all day, every day. You can't be 60, 40 in here one day, 90, 10 in the next, the next month, 50, 50. Read on. But for the lawless and disobedience. See, for the lawless and disobedience to the power of read. For the ungodly. See, very people don't understand this. Read. And for sin. They don't even know they're in sin. Because they think that everything they're doing is good. Read on. For unholy and profane. Unholy, man, and profane. Read. For murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers. Read on. For manslayers. Manslayers. Read. For whoremongers. For whoremongers, man. Let me tell you, this is, this is going into women's too. They whoremongers too. Read. For them that defile themselves with mankind. Read that last part again. For them that defile themselves with mankind. This is homosexuality right here, man. You can stamp LGBT right there. Read. For men stealing. So-called white men. Read. For liars. See. For perjured persons. Perjured person. Guilty persons, man. Read. And if there be any other thing that... It's any other little thing that he's all trying to hide, read. That is contrary to sound doctrine. So is all people in this walking in this truth too, man. Anything going against sound doctrine. That's why we try. I try to reach out to anybody, man. The love is for the nation. We should be communicating because right now, if we coming together, then you got a lot of these sorry Israelites out there right now at home playing uh, Nintendo. Um. Uh, they got to watch the game this weekend. So they got more important things than the power. See, when, the, when, when things start to get shaky around here, then you'll have them coming. Hey, man, what's going on, man? I, I know I heard about y'all. Hey, that's all you're going to continue to hear. <laughs> Isaiah 3 and 8. Nobody playing games with our people, man. And that's the problem. They want to play games. See, we, we here in a dire situation, man. We call in the nation. We call out to all of them. I don't don't be coming to me with that that have that have crook stuff that they try to do, man. Matter of fact, I I'll tell y'all about this later, man. <laughs> the book of Isaiah, chapter three and verse eight. 
for Jerusalem is ruined. See, the nation is in ruin, man. Read. And Judah is fallen. Read on. Because their tongues and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. See, they don't understand, man. We on the bottom. We catching hell, but we can't get along. We ready, we ready to play leapfrog amongst the nation. Everybody come in, they ready to play leapfrog, man. And I see them, they get destroyed because they don't like to listen. Read on. The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them. And this is going back into this homosexuality, man. Read. And they declare their sin as Sodom. See, our people are gone, man. They follow anything that Esau promotes. Read on. They hide it not. They don't even hide. You got You got studs walking around here. I, 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 I ask the sister, okay, let me ask you, sister, okay. So you you don't want a man, but you want a lookalike. Mm. Is that what it is? They want a lookalike. You look alike. You look like a man to me. What's the difference? Uh, let me see. One's got plastic. See? So, is that what you want, sister? You want that man? Oh, yes. It's confusing to me. Don't y'all both have cycles? <laughs> <laughs> so who really is the man? I'm trying to figure it out. You know? But this is a foul affection the Most High don't gave just don't let them have. Read on. Woe unto their soul. It's a destruction, man, to their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. See, they have rewarded evil unto themselves, man. Read on. Say ye to the righteous. Say ye to the righteous. The one standing for the most high, read. That it shall be well with them. It's going to be well with y'all, man. All you got to do is keep the commandments. Read. For they shall eat the fruit of their doing. They're going to eat the fruit of their doing, man. Read. Woe unto the wicked. He say what? Woe unto the wicked. See, our people, we get caught. They got the spirit of Esau on them. They believe everything Esau tell them. Esau tell them the sun is green. Oh, the sun is green now. They tell them Esau tell them the water is, is what, give me a color? Orange. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's orange. Whatever he say they believe. Read on. It shall be ill with him. It's going to be ill with him, man. It's going to be ill with him. Read. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. It's going to be given him. So I'm going to tell you something. When you're walking in the truth, man, it's a walk you do every day. This is a practice. This is a lifestyle. This is, I know in the kingdom. See, I know in Esau kingdom, we don't call what with the children. See, in the kingdom, we're not sparing no rod. <laughs> so all you soft mothers, oh, you hitting Junior just too hard. <laughs> Junior needed his butt whooped. See, see, see some of y'all don't understand. Look what we've been through. Look at what happened to y'all. The throwing off the ships, feeding our, our nation to to, to sharks, alligators. And you thinking a bet on the back don't is it, killing that child. I'm gonna tell you something, sister. Stand down till you get it next. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another video. Uh, let me show you about the, the male right here. Who we have right here? What's name? Oh yeah, go ahead. That's how I'm going them saying. Fathers, some of y'all been there crying and stuff. Yeah, see, play out, man. That's how they get to you. Emotions. Father. Somebody got to go pick Granny up right now. She don't pass that. <laughs> yeah. That's how they get you. That's all going on in there, man. But see who's doing it. Play up. <laughs> hey, 
seeing going on in the church than outside the church. A lot of people don't want to hear that. They thinking they've been raised right because mama don't taught them. Mama don't taught you to go go right to that lake of fire. Play on, I. Right, church, every time going on. Sunday, Sunday school, Sunday night service, whatever, whenever the doors open, we were there. And she taught us to Nothing. love God. And that needs to be the forefront, the thing that's the foremost thing in our life. And if you serve God, everything else will fall into place. And I've always in my life. She never taught her how to serve. Right. She just taught her to serve Satan. Right. Are you? Hold it for a second, baby. It hurts when knowing that we're getting married and it's going to be mostly friends there. Let me tell you so. Family. Father, should nobody be there? No family, nobody in the church is true. Should not, I I wouldn't care who it is. Play out. Because fiance, I'm hurting more for her because her family on both sides are not in agreement. Is that how you're about something? I thought we're awesome. Oh, everybody's been crying. What? If this still come up to you, you know, you don't a hey, swing on you, do you A avoid the confrontation? <laughs> B hit with a hard jab. <laughs> I'm just asking you, man, because if you don't know, you know, because some of them they are portraying the role real good. Play up. Well, I don't know this term before this. So the only way you're going to know it comes from the chest. Not that you're going to say. I mean, I'm trying to be, but you know when there's a new person. So I was like, who's that woman up there? Then she was praising. That's her, that's her gift. Let me so pause it right quick. Let me tell you something. Them studs and them, them LGBTs, they're very aggressive, man. They, 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 they be, let me tell you something. Y'all acting like they be at home and everything is just sweet and good. <laughs> Them be it. They be some of the most violent peoples on the planet, man. I'm telling y'all the truth. Think it's all good in the neighborhood. Play on, man. And, you know, at church, and I said, who's that? And hold I, up, hold I, up. They all up in church with this? Yeah. Play, play on. <laughs> they all keep the noise down. Give me Romans 1 and 24. Woo! 
So YouTube should be taking that video down. A crime against the most high. <laughs> See? But they promote that because YouTube ran by homosexuals. That's right. Yahoo and all the rest of the Who brothers. <laughs> Read up. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness. See, that's uncleanness, man. Read. Through the lust of their own heart. Their mind, read. To dishonor their bodies. To do what? Dishonor their bodies. To do what? Dis to dishonor their bodies. That's the temple of God, man. Read. Between themselves. Between themselves. Read on. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Somebody give me a picture of Esau, man, so we can tell y'all the truth. Who changed the truth of God into a lie, man? Read. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. We've been serving the creature, man. Go home, tell mama what I say. She's serving the creature. She ain't gonna want to hear it because she's in there frying a pork chop sandwich. <laughs> See? She's not gonna want to hear this, man. She don't understand she's following Satan himself. So-called white man. Read. Who is blessed forever. Who is what? Who is blessed forever. Read on. Amen. Give me this next video, man. Let's deal with the young boy. Let's show you all man. Let's not see what it's like two years. Let me show you. See, I'm telling you, I'm bringing this stuff out. People thinking I'm just hating on somebody. I ain't hating on nobody, man. I'm telling you the truth. See, they got them shots and stuff, man. Go back a little bit. Pause it. See, with the chest. Go ahead and play it now. I'll show you what these drugs do for you, man. Esau and Frankenstein. Now, this is probably old video, but three months. That's why some of you sisters got to get off Facebook, man. Y'all be on there thinking y'all be Jake. Six months. So y'all see these people walking around every day. Y'all don't know what's going on. And these the ones that got some of them, that cause them, them pills and stuff cost. And that surgery cost. So we out here trying to show the world, man, that this stuff is actually taking place. months, man. What the? 21 months? Two years. Mustache. Look at that. Pause it. Go back just a little bit. Let it run. Then we'll pause it right there. Pause it. Now people are like, what well, ain't got no... Where the, where the chest go? Y'all don't understand. Esau's a mad scientist, man. He's Frankenstein. <laughs> he is the mad scientist, man. Play on. That's it, man. Back to the scriptures. And the one thing that y'all really got to understand is this man, he's been doing this for a very, very long time. This ain't something that's just new. He's been doing this for over 150 years. Uh, and he's been using these people so these people can be idols into y'all in, into y'all minds. You know, you thinking that Jay-Z is a man? You thinking that Beyonce is a woman? You think Kim Kardashian is a woman? And these are the people that you see right here on YouTube. These are the people that don't got the millions of dollars. What you think that they are doing with the ones that got all of the money? Esau is a fornicator, man. He is a base man. 
and we got to get out of Babylon, man, because this ain't nothing but a snare and a trap for us. God. That's why we try to get y'all to understand, man. It ain't personal, man. It's just true. See, because some of y'all be listening to it. I, I remember back a few years ago, they was listening to Justin Woman Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> it was a song he had. I was listening to the song. Uh, and I was like, it's just pure garbage. And these children's repeating it. Then I'm seeing children in the hood listening to it, singing it. Romans 1 and 26. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Foul affection. That's all it is, man. Read. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Hold up. What's against nature? Let me ask you this. Do you see any two she bears running around together? I'm just, I'm just curious. Two she squirrels <laughs> reproducing. I'm just see. Everything is basic, man. Esau make everything hard. So when you really understanding the scriptures, it is basic. Because guess what? That bear, that she bear doesn't worry about because that other bear gonna know when it's sent. What another she bear? Oh yeah, she in heat. Let me go hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. These things are against nature that these women do. Read. And likewise, also the men. And likewise, also the men. I don't know about you. If a guy clammed in the bed with me, boy, he would get hurt. <laughs> I mean, he might get, if I was on the fifth floor, he's going to be on the first. <laughs> because that is not, that's not, it's against nature, man. It's not, un, it's uncommonly for a man to be having his arm around another man. <laughs> Read. Leaving the natural use of the woman. See, churches, why are they not pulling this out in them churches? So some of y'all won't question that. Some of y'all won't bring these scriptures to your parents because they okay with it. They like watching that Atlanta house, Atlanta house men. Read over. Burned in their lust, one toward another. One towards another. Read. Men with men. Men. That's why the song. It's raining, men. <laughs> hey, they they've been putting out this homosexual music for for generations. Read. Working that which is unseemly. Unseemly, man. Unfit, ungodly. Read. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. So, their recompense is their payback. A lot of them caught AIDS, man. A lot of them are still dying from that disease. And a lot of them do, it's a lot of needles that they use. You know, when, you, when you're in that lifestyle, man, it just, I'm going to tell you something, it affects my spirit. Some of y'all, I don't know, I can't sit around. Somebody shut that air out. Uh, let's go to Genesis 19 and 5. Let me show you how bad it's going to get around here because you're seeing things happening as we speak. You're seeing the same thing that happened. It's nothing new under the sun. Read that right quick, huh? The book of Genesis, chapter 19 and verse 5. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. That they may what? That we may know them. They want to know these men, man. I'm going to tell you something. Sodom and Gomorrah, we right here. This is going to be the same thing. Y'all don't understand how, how this, this stuff is going to continue to rev up. Leviticus 18.22. I'm just here to give you the truth. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, and verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. See, some sisters say, oh, this, this Bible is written in a manly form. So it's saying the same thing to the, to, to, to the woman. Read. As with womankind, it is abomination. Why do you say, and let me tell you something. Esau, he don't care nothing about this, man. You know why? Because he don't have, his name is not written. Their name is not written in the book of life. So, 
They don't. That's why you see some of them. I'm gonna tell you something. Some of these Edomites, man, they don't have no conscience. How how could you do the stuff that you did to us and still do it to us? No conscience at all. Jump down to verse twenty four. Verse twenty four. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. He say, defile yourself in any of these things. LGBT, homosexuality. Read on. For in all these nations, and in all these other nations, read, are defiled. See, they defile, man. Because a lot of y'all don't understand. It's going right on in China. Some of y'all see them Chinamen up there giving the new care. They'll be, they'll be men. You see some of them in Japan, it'll be men. And you see some of them here in America. You see them on there, them are men. I'm going to tell you something. What's the ultimate thing you have to do? A lot of people think you got to go to Hollywood, you got to bend over on the couch. A lot of them, you got to change your sex. So you got to be a part of the system. And, and guess what? That's why they get a star in Hollywood for deceiving you. They get rewarded by them giving them a house. Why do you think they take it right back? Read on. Are the fire which I cast out before you? See, the most high cast them out before us, man. Look, it's 1929. And this is why they always say, we're not under the law no more. We're just going to keep two laws. So a homosexual, see, now a homosexual can get in there. He ain't got to keep with two laws. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Let me tell you something. This is the number one cause of the rape in our neighborhoods, man. Because they got a little, little Shaniqua up there shaking her butt. She's two years old with a diaper on. <laughs> this is what's going on, man. This is what they do. But then they get mad for us telling them the truth. You shouldn't have your daughter in the house with a bunch of men. That's in there getting high on drugs. And you don't know, some of them come up and tell you something. Some of these young boys going to that penitentiary, man, they don't know what it's like in there. They ain't got no hand. They, yeah, they can pop, pop. But when it comes down to put them up, they don't, know, they don't have no understanding. Because I'm pretty sure ain't nobody taught them, hey, bro, before you pull that trigger, think about that 25 to life. See? Nobody teaching them this stuff. Read on. To cause her to be a whore. That's what caused them to be a whore. Because grandmama was a whore. Great grandmother was a whore. And they just passed the tradition down to the children. Read. Let the land fall to order. And the land become full of wickedness. That's what you see now. Some of these young children, they'll cuss you out. I seen a little girl out there on the street, eight years old, trying to talk to me crazy. Let's see, that's, 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 give me 20 and 13. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13. Because if some Israelite men don't have no understanding, we're going to pull every scripture. Read. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman. This goes for the woman too, read. Both of them have committed an abomination. So when you're going into Romans 1 and 20, 24 on down, this is what this is going into. Read. They shall surely be put to death. They shall what? Surely be put to death. No. Their blood shall be upon them. <laughs> Deuteronomy 23, 17. So I want them to know what, the, what that scripture is talking about. Because Christ said he come in the volume of the book. That's not the New Testament. So don't be sitting up hollering. Uh, it's all about what the New Testament is telling us the same thing. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. There shall be what? No whore of the daughters of Israel. Let me tell you something, man. When you're dealing with marriage, it's talking about that too. So, if, you, if you're running around here, sisters and brothers out there on the internet thinking you can just pull around, this is what I don't understand. Some idiot was talking marriage was a two stage. So these people are having sex and they ain't got no 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 lying papers from Esau. They good, huh? Read that again. There shall be no more of the daughters of Israel. It's plain and simple, man. There shall be no more. 
of the daughters of Israel. And it's going on to the LGBT stuff too. Read. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. You're not going to make it into the kingdom. So I know some of us, we got children. Hey, tell them how T.I. is. The most high say, this is where it is and this is what it's going to be. Read on. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore, nor the price of a dog. We got some schools out here, they, they, take, they do these things. They deal with prostitutes. And they'll prostitute our own sister cell, man. These are young children and grown. And I'm gonna tell you something, it's just not the women, not the men, it's the women's too pimping now. They just had a movie out about that. I don't remember the name of it. Anybody got the name? It's called Pimp. It's that's it's a sister, but it's really a man. But now y'all confused. <laughs> That's how it is when you start learning the truth. Read on. Into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow. Any pledge, any pledge read. For even both these are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Back to Romans 1 and 28. That's why I say when you keep any law, statute, commandments, you can't just deviate from some of them. You got to keep them out. You got to walk in the light. Read our the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 28. And even as they did not write to retain God in their knowledge. So we went back to the laws. They don't want to retain God in their knowledge. They don't understand what that is talking about. Read. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. He gave them up to a reprobate mind. Read. To do those things which are not convenient. He, he let them do it, man. Because they're going to be put to death. Read. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Y'all thinking these people walking around here, you seeing two women with some children and two men with some children. It's, 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 it's unrighteousness, man. Read. Fornication. That's what it all leads back up under that umbrella. Read. Wickedness. That's what they are, man. Read. Covetousness. Covetousness. Read. Maliciousness. Maliciousness. Read. Full of envy. They very full of envy, man, because you walking around trying to be something that you're not. I can't walk around being a, a, a tiger. I mean, I'm covetous of this tiger. When a sister want to be a man, she coveted of looking like a man. But see, it, 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 it's, it's common in our neighborhoods now. It's okay for Shanae and Shanae to be married now. Read on. Murder. Murder, man. Read. Debate. Then let me tell you something. You're trying to bring the scriptures out. They don't want to hear nothing in this Bible. Read. Deceit. They, they deceived in their minds. Read. Malignity. Read on. Whisper. Love to talk. Read. Backbiters. They backbiters. Read. Haters of God. They what? Haters of God. Understand. They ain't trying to be in They ain't understand. They haters of God. Because once you do something more, then you hate us of the most highly son. Read. Despiteful. Despiteful, man. Read. Proud. Proud to walk around here looking like a man. Read. Boasters. Boasters. Inventors of evil things. Inventors. Why do you think Esau got all these toys for the people now? You got a broad dodge. You just push the button 10 seconds. You wake up in the next morning with your arm across a dummy. <laughs> Disobedient to parents. And, and let me tell you something. When somebody don't like to listen to their parents, what are they? Disobedient to parents. Read on. Without understanding. They don't have no understanding what's going on, man. Read. Covenant breakers. Covenant what? Covenant breakers. Covenant breakers, man. Because they don't broke the covenant that they had with the father. Read. Without natural affection. Read on. Implacable. Unmerciful. Unmerciful, man. Read. Who knowing the judgment of God. Who and they know this judgment. Read on. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. What are they? Worthy of death. Read on. Not only do the same. See, and say he's going right here and saying the parent that condone this read. But have pleasure in them that do this. They have pleasure in them that do it, man. But I can tell you, it's hard for some people. It is hard for some people, man. Very hard for some people that don't have no understanding of this truth. Uh, give me 
Jude 1 and 6. Read on the book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate. That's talking about us, read. But left their own habitation. Read on. He hath reserved an everlasting chains under darkness until the judgment of the great day. See, because a lot of us don't understand these Israelites went off from the beginning. Give me Romans 2 and 1. Read the book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 1. Therefore, thou art in inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that now, now, judge. Give me John 8 44, my bad. I'm looking up two papers. The book of St. John, chapter 8 and verse 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. Read on. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So why is why is this analogy talking about our nation being a devil? And the lust of the father, a murderer from the beginning, abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. He is a liar and the father of it. Go back to Jude 1 and 6. Read that. Uh, the book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate. See, they didn't want to do nothing. See, that's why you got Esau telling them Nephthys or whatever they say, giants on the planet. These are talking about Israelites all the way back to Genesis. Read. But left their own habitation. He had reserved an everlasting chains under darkness until the judgment of the great day. Because they never going to understand the truth. They're going to continue to come back here in the same darkness. A lot of y'all don't understand when you walked here before, you walked in righteousness. That's why you've been called. Some of y'all don't understand this truth. Read on. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. So they gave themselves over to what? Fornication. Read on. And going after strange flesh. They go after strange flesh. Read. Are set forth for an example. They are set forth for an example. Read. Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. What are they suffering from? Vengeance of e e eternal fire. Go back up and read verse 6 again. Verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate. This is talking about Israelites, man. Read. But left their own habitation. Read on. He hath reserved an everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Now go and read that last sentence in the verse 7. Verse 7, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Been set up. Give me that. Give me Romans 2 and 1. How y'all understand that the most high and the son already know the elect? And know those that are not going to repent. But our job is to still go out there and teach. Read up the book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 1. Therefore, thou art inexcusable and unjustifi unjustifiable, unjustified. Read, O man, whosoever thou art the shalaki, whosoever thou art that judges, read, for wherein thou judgest another. See, a lot of times when we're not walking in the truth right and you judging another, read, thou condemnest thyself. So when you, uh, that's why I try to tell brothers before you go out there and grab that mic, man. You better make sure you're in the spirit. Read. For thou that judges do it the same thing. They do the same thing. Read. But we are sure that the judgment of God Read. is according to truth. Read on. Against them which commit such things. So we out there rebuking them. We got to be in the spirit. Read. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things and doeth the same that thou 
thou shalt escape the judgment of God. You're not, man, but read on. Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. So when you understand the goodness of God leads you to repentance. Some of us, we're we not there yet, but read on. But after thy hardness and impotent heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. The impotent is unrepentable. These people don't want to repent. Read. Who will render to every man according to his deeds. So y'all have to understand we have to operate in the spirit. Because everything you do, you're gonna be rendered to what you according to what you do here. Give me first Corinthians six and fifteen. The book of first Corinthians, chapter six and verse fifteen. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of your house? So we have to understand when somebody is uh, committing these acts, they're committing against the power. Read. Shall I then take the members of your house and make them the members of the heart? So should he add that into it? Read. God forbid. No, man, read. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? Some of y'all married to a harlot. Read. For two. Say it, he shall be one flesh. One flesh, you one flesh with the sinner. Read. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Because he walks in the spirit at all times. Read. Flee fornication. They say what? Flee fornication. Read on. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. Read on. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. Read. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? Which ye have of God, and ye are not your own, for ye are far with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. Because we made a covenant with the power. We these bodies alone to us. Read. And in your spirit. In your spirit, read. Which are God. Which are what? Which are God. Revelation 10, 20 and 10. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 10. And the devil that deceived them, see, the so called white man reads, was cast into the lake of fire. So two thirds are going to be going right with him, read. And brimstone, where the beast and the false prophets. See, y'all thinking these just pastors. These are talking about your entertainers, your congressmen, your politicians. These people hold power over people, they're the false prophets. Read. Where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Read on. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. No place for a man, read. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their words. So we have to understand, our people need help, man. That's why we go out here and we teach and we plow on these concrete. That's why when you go into the labors of you, a lot of brothers don't want to do anything, man. They want to sit back and moan, groan, and complain about what we need to do as a nation. Our people are sick. We the physicians. Remember, we have a job to do. When you understand you're walking in the spirit, you do the things as the most high wants you to do. Not your wife, not your cousin, not your daddy, as the power wants you to do. Understand who you're following. On that note, Shalom. Shalom.